again everybody this is desert sky adventures and today it is a beautiful day out here at the vulture city ghost town which is just a little bit west of wickenburg arizona and this was an actual gold rush town way back in the 1800s and as i understand it they are still mining for gold to this very day so we're gonna go back here and check out the old town it's a Apparently, uh, historically restored, 16 historically accurate buildings, and uh, maybe get a little look at the modern gold mining operation as well. So, come along with us. We're inviting you to come along. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. These things really help us out. But let's go check out uh, the old ghost town here, see what's going on. So just a little history about this area, but apparently Henry Wickenburg, who the close town of Wickenburg is named after, was a Prussian immigrant and discovered this mine in 1863. And apparently there are many fables about how Henry discovered the quartz deposit and named it the Vulture, but no credible records exist, so we don't know for sure. But uh, it says here by the early 1900s there were thousands of residents out here. And historical records suggest the mine produced around 360,000 ounces of gold and 260,000 ounces of silver, the bulk of which occurred between 1864 and 1916. Our first stop of the tour is the garage here. It says it's a single car structure that is the starting point of the tour, but maybe we can go inside and check it out. Wow, look at this. Definitely a lot of old relics in here. There's an old engine block here. This stuff is definitely old. You can smell it. It has that old smell. school motor oil there. Very, very interesting. These old hubcaps. International. Dodge. Believe it or not, this was actually a gas station at one time. Apparently it was built in the early 1900s. Very interesting. Let's see if we can get a closer look. These old signs are great. Apparently this is the actual 1924 National Cash Register. That is the real deal sitting right there. Wow. A lot of old automotive relics in here. Imagine what it would have been like to work in this gas station. It's probably a one-man operation, I would imagine. OK, 
canine distemper and infectious hepatitis. Watch out for that. This is the old pump house, which apparently was relocated to this location in 2019. So this is not where it originally stood. The pump house was the heart and soul of your mining operation. This is where all the water was pumped from. And there would be no mining without water. It's a very important structure back in those days. This is a piece of pipe from 1884. That is very, very old. drilling equipment. Blasting box. Call it pipe tobacco. Delicious. TNT. Blasting cap. Just love all the old relics. Everywhere you look around here, just old stuff. Carburetor control. The very old car, or what's left of it anyway. Bunch of old pipes hanging out. isn't too hard to imagine what this place would have looked like back in the day. Okay, this one I'm really looking forward to going into. Apparently this was the last residence, or the private residence of the last mine manager, whose name is Ernest Dickey. It's a small museum, but apparently the haunted objects are inside here. So let's go take a look at them. Haunted objects. What's up? Where's the porcelain doll? We're looking for the porcelain doll. Oh, it's probably in here. Oh, this is not a creepy room at all. Hmm. So... I'm guessing it's the one in the chair, not the one in the little crib. Because the one in the crib doesn't look like it's made of porcelain. It says the porcelain doll was owned by a child spirit known as Izzy. Dolly has been known to move, play music, increase in temperature by up to 15 degrees, and regular, regularly harbors a high level of energy. And then Libby, I'm guessing, is the larger porcelain doll there. Previously located in the brothel for about a decade, 
Libby is inhabited by an adult female spirit who is known to admit high levels of energy, move, cause dizziness, headaches, and reportedly chest pain. Lib Libby is friendly, but respect should always be shown to ensure that friendliness continues. These baby shoes were previously located in the doctor's office. They often give extremely high EMF readings. Photos have been captured of streaks of energy and energy clouds forming around the shoes. Where are the shoes? Baby shoes? All the ghost hunters have been here. Pictures from 1916. Haunted gazing mirror. No, no, there's creepy dolls in the. You see any ghosts in the mirror? What else do we have in here? I wonder if the shoes are the ones that are on the doll. I don't know. That's all it has listed as far as haunted stuff in here. Cool. Would you stay the night in here? Yeah. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> I'm not... All the times I've gone looking for ghosts and like, yeah, nothing. Wow, I got a really old phone. And some old Victrolas. Which are essentially very old record players. According to my little card here, people say they hear music in here, pianos. A telephone ringing from time to time. out to the back porch. Apparently people have had intelligent communication with spirits and full-bodied apparitions seen standing on the back porch where we are right now. If there's any apparitions, I'd love to have a chat with you. But they're just not making themselves apparent right now. Here we see what's left of a 1925 Dodge sedan. Apparently, at one point, came across the Golden Gate Bridge. Ended up out here in Vulture City. No old west town is complete without a blacksmith shop. Which, according to my little card here, was probably the busiest place in town. Anytime something went wrong, these guys had to fix it. And they had to fix it quick. So plenty of work for these folks.
little stuffy in here, but not too bad. This giant piece of machinery right here is apparently an air compressor which was another critical component when it came to mining. Chicago pneumatic air compressor. I can only imagine what this thing would have sounded like when it was operational. I imagine it was not quiet. They say this building is haunted by the spirit of the original blacksmith who's been known to pound on the walls and the roof of the structure. Thank you, you're beautiful. Thank you. So Mr. Blacksmith, if you're here, can you give us a sign? Apparently not. I don't believe that was the blacksmith. I believe that was the wind. But who knows, right? Just look at all this old equipment. Imagine what it would have been like to work with this stuff all day, every day. Very interesting. Head frame. They apparently used to pull the minerals and ore and everything else out of the ground. This right here is called nickel rays, which is apparently a type of shaft that started from an underground tunnel. And it goes down 170 feet. Oh, there you go. Holy crap, that is a long way down. See how far down those lights go? Yeah, 170 feet, that's no joke. You dare me to walk across it? Not to. Nah, nah. Made it. This is a event area where they at one time had weddings and concerts and ceremonies and things like that. But according to our historical reference card here, these wood beams that hold the structure up. This is the original vulture mine wood, dating back over a hundred years.
Interesting. This here is the old Wells Fargo post office. I believe. Yep. Wells Fargo post. A spoiler alert, this building is completely reconstructed, but it was made of these same materials that they used to build the original building. Let's take a look inside. You can tell this building is made of brick because it's actually kind of cool inside here, as opposed to the rest of the buildings we've been in so far. We got some old newspapers. I would love to check the date on that, but the sign says not to touch anything, so I'm going to respect their rules. Oh, here we go. This is from June 5th, 1941. Wow. Oh, now I have to do it. If they're asking me to do it, I'll do it. I do too, just for good measure. My handwriting is not the prettiest, as I'll admit, but it's kind of hard to write on these things because they are made of wood and there's a lot of little ridges and grooves and whatnot, but it's gotten stuck there. There it goes. One more. And of course they both land upside down. Well, what are you gonna do? We have a perfectly placed little snack bar here. Got me a refreshing beverage, which is just what I needed around this part. But let's continue on. Another very old car sitting out here. And if you saw my Week in the Wilderness series, uh, video one, I found an old car similar to this out in the middle of nowhere, out in the Oregon wilderness. This was not the exact same type of car, I can tell because the back window is different, but definitely the same era. And this one is much more complete than the one I found out in the woods. And this building here is original. It was built in 1884, and this is the old essay office. And what these folks did was made sure that the purity of the gold or whatever it was they were pulling out of the earth was where it should be, so this was definitely a busy location. Back in the day, let's take a peek inside. Wow, look at all this. Undoubtedly a very busy place 150 years ago or thereabouts You can see a little of the evolution of the building as Recently as 2011 not such a good shape, but They have definitely fixed it up Down here's where they stored the gold until it got shipped out to wherever it was going. I don't know if you can see that skeleton down there, but for a second, that uh, scared the crap out of me. Oh, look at this. A little Nightmare Before Christmas style stuff in here. I like it.
This is where the guards lived. We protected the gold. And the gold vault's right over here, babe, if you want to take a look. The guys who hung out in here, they were definitely on their toes. I read about several accounts of this place being raided by thieves and various robbers. So these guys definitely had their work cut out for them and they probably had to have their heads on a swivel. Be ready for anything that might go down. Because you're not exactly calling for help when something goes wrong out here. And to fend for yourself. That's a little warm. It's not too bad for Arizona. It's probably about 89 degrees out here right now. So a nice day today. But it does get very cold out here. You can imagine all the nights the guards probably hung out right here around this fire. Just hoping that the crap didn't go down. Maybe they hoped it would. Maybe it was boring. I don't know. We cannot access the top, so that's okay. Wow. Any ghosts in here? It doesn't appear so. Crusher. Well, they definitely did a good job with the restoration. It looks a lot better than those pictures, and it definitely still looks very authentic. Very cool. Let's move on. Can we get to the hanging tree? Yes. Just a little to the west of the old assay office is apparently Henry Wickenberg's cabin. And this tree right here is called the hanging tree. Why? Well, apparently they hung 18 men from this tree at one point who were caught stealing gold and other things. They did not mess around in those days. That's the kind of thing that would cause you to forfeit your life right there. But apparently, Henry Wickenberg lived in this old house right here. And he apparently did not mess around. If you were causing trouble, he'd just hang you right out in front of his front door. And that's just the way they did things back then. These were apparently gun ports. Anyone came looking for trouble, old Henry would stick a rifle out this hole and you'd get dealt with. So, oh, all that being said, a little skeleton dog down here, how cute. Let's go check out Henry Wickenberg's place. Yeah, this was about all you would have, I suppose. And Henry Wickenberg was a very wealthy man, so this was not where he lived the majority of his life. Back there he is right there. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the hanging tree right there next to him. Still here. It says over the years this structure was used for storage and was even a jail at one time. It's also a kerosene storage facility in the 1870s. But according to legend, the 18 men who were hung from the tree it says for rape, murder, high grading, which was apparently stealing gold. And one was said to be an assayer caught by guards hiding gold in the assay office coal bin. And justice was swift back in those days.
but that's the way it was. One occasion, the superintendent was held up and murdered by five desperados who were after the cleanup or the regular shipment of bullion. They did not succeed in getting away with their prize, were captured by the local vigilantes and hung by the neck until dead on the limbs of, you got it, the hanging tree. Next building we're going to check out is the doctor's office, brothel, and boarding house. All in one room. That's what it used to look like back in the day. And here's what it looks like now. After a little restoration. But still here. Let's go check it out. bathtub. Man, I would pay big money to be able to stay in any one of these buildings for a night just to see what happens. The little card says every one of these buildings is haunted and people report this and that and blah 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 but there's a few other people around here and it's broad daylight and probably not going to get too much that way. But every paranormal adventure we've gone on has turned out mostly fruitless, so we'll keep checking. Maybe we'll get something cool someday. Some people get really bad vibes around places like these. Jennifer is kind of sensitive to it. But uh, not me. Every single one of these places, I'd be perfectly fine staying the night and just seeing how it goes. In the old boarding house now. Wow, just look at all the stuff. Oh good, license for prostitution. Wouldn't want to break any rules. Would you sleep here? I think I'd be okay with it. Hey, your horse could stay for free. 25 cents a night. It's six and a quarter cent for liquor. That's a good deal. 25 cents a gallon for wine? Yeah, we can make that work. Oh, it's for your horse, one cent. This was the madam's room. And they say, according to my little card here, this is a very active building. And people said that they've heard the madam or seen her or something. Very interesting. Take a look and 
inside the old doctor's office. Not a whole lot of space, but this is where they fixed everybody up, or tried to, anyway. Highly active building. Apparitions and moving objects caught on camera and sounds of singing in the madam's bedroom. Objects have been thrown from the piano after being left by visitors. Royce recordings of a male captured throughout the regular sightings of a lady of the night peering out the front window holding a lit candle. That's what they report in this building. Anyway. Now we're inside the bunkhouse. Apparently people would sleep in here on rotating shifts. You'd share everything with the person that slept in the bed before you. Dirt and lice and everything else. But now it's set up as some sort of small convention hall or something. This TV here clearly not period authentic. But they were doing something in here. Directly across from the bunkhouse, got the hardware store and the workshop, which apparently is the largest building on property. Let's go see what's inside here. first building I've been in today that had an air conditioner and it's working but this was at one point the church and mortician's house apparently Izzy the child spirit that we talked about earlier had claimed this building as her playhouse according to my little placard here. Guests bring dolls for Izzy in hopes that she will make contact with them. Spirits of three rambunctious girls can be seen playing outside the building while singing, according to reports. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Yeah. You get creepy vibes in here. This one. this one has electricity and lights and air conditioning.
300,000 shares. $10 each, that's a lot of money. You know, the miners had a little doggy who apparently knew how to do tricks. Very cool place. And I'm reaping all the benefits. Wow. It's always cool to come out here and see these old historic relics, but that was the last building to check out, so I guess that'll wrap it up for our adventure here today at the Vulture City Ghost Town. I really liked it a lot. I love coming out here and checking out these old relics that have been here for God knows how long and learning a little history about the area. And if you're ever out uh, near Wickenburg, come check this place out. If you like history, it's 15 bucks. Once you're in, you can hang out as long as you want until they close, of course, which tonight is at five o'clock. But we really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, do us a favor. Follow us on Rumble. You can find us on Rumble at Desert Sky 480. And we're also on YouTube at Desert Sky Adventures. Hit that like button on the way out. Hit subscribe. It really helps us out. And you'll be able to come along and all the adventures we take in the future. So that'll about do it for us. Until next time, see you down the road. Anyway, if you like this video, I hope you did. Do us a favor. Go ahead and follow us on Rumble. 4H uh, Desert. Blah, 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 blah. Try that again.